What's up, y'all? It's the most entertaining Eagles content creator in the game. Your boy, Mizzy Mez, Cool Cat Kanye, YouTube representing the birds. Before we start this video, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, and comment to the Cool Cat Kanye channel. Also, subscribe to the Birds of Broad Street YouTube channel with me, someone with the sports, Philly Notion, One Trey Rock, King DV, and Smitty. Also, subscribe to the Cool Cat Mitch YouTube channel with me and MK Mitch Kowalski. And also, subscribe to the Y'all Still Them Boys YouTube channel where I deal with them straight rats, the Dallas Cowboys. So please, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, and comment to the Cool Cat Connor, Birds of Broad Street, Y'all Still Them Boys, and the Cool Cat Mitch YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and enjoy the video. What's up, y'all? It's the most entertaining Eagles content creator in the game. Your boy, Mr. Miss Cook, I kind of YouTube representing the birds. So the NFL PA report cards has been released for all 32 teams in the NFL including our Philadelphia Eagles. Now, here it is. For the Philadelphia Eagles, treatment of family, a C. Food and cafeteria, an A. Um, we have neutral, a B. The locker room is the B minus. Training room is a B plus. The training staff is an A. Weight room is an A minus. St strength coaches is an A. Team travel is a C. Head coach and ownership, A. And I'm going to get there to that before we get to the takeaways. Okay? Before we get to the takeaways, I want to start there. They gave... Nick Sirianni, Ohowie T, and Jeffrey Lurie, because it's right here, y'all. It's right here. Black and white. Crystal. They gave Nick Sirianni, the head coach, and ownership, an A. Kowinskadink. I think not. So what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? It means this. I don't know what y'all been hearing when it comes to um, the media who've been talking all that boo shit. Right. That was talking all that boo shit. But it seems to me that the Philadelphia Eagles love themselves some Nick Sirianni. They love themselves some Ohio, some Howie T. Howie T. -F. And they love themselves some Jeffrey Lurie. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an A. So let's go to the takeaways. Right? I'm going to make this. Nice and big for y'all. Pause. All right. The takeaways from the grades. And as y'all can see, grades right there. Bam. But as for the takeaways, let's go to it. <clears throat> A few takeaways from these grades, and which is as follows. Eagles are one of 11 teams that did not provide free on style daycare for team families. Okay, the Eagles got to work on that. Eagles ranked second in food taste and first in food freshness. 83% of players feel they got personalized neutral plan, nurturing plans. Players feel the locker room needs to be re, uh, refixed. And I agree with that. Fix the locker room in the Nova. In, I think in the Nova Care complex or at the link, it, 
let her, you know. Players report upgrade to hot tub and cold tub. Okay. Players rank head trainer Tom, number one in the NFL. Players like the space in the weight room. Player feels strength coach significantly contributes to success. Only 75% of players feel they have enough personal flights on flights, and they all get their own room on the road. Now, here's the biggest part. Here's the biggest part. Right down there, ladies and gentlemen. Right down there. Nick Sirianni ranks number one. Ha! To all of you that sat there and said Nick Sirianni is the problem. Nick Sirianni needs to go. He ranks number one among head coach for effectively with time. In other words, he listens to the players. He understands the players. And Jeffrey Lurie, huh? Jeffrey Lurie receives a 9.4 out of 10 rating for willingness to invest in facilities, placing him number seven overall. You see, the Philadelphia Eagles, unlike the Dallas Cowboys and the street rat pack known as Cowboy Nation, we don't have no culture problem. Huh? We don't have no coaching problem. Huh? So, where does all of that rank? All of that. Let's let's go to the rankings of the vote. And let's see where the Philadelphia Eagles rank. Dolphins number one. Vikings number two. Packers number three. <gasps> the Philadelphia Eagles rank Fourth. 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 Ha! Fourth. I think you're Jalen. I think you're AJ. I think you're Devante. Jaguars are five. 49, 49s are six. Texans are seventh. Giants are eighth. Raiders nine. Bears ten. Bills eleven. Cowboys twelve. Damn. Lions thirteenth. Seahawks fourteenth. Ravens fifteenth. Broncos sixteenth. Panthers seventeenth. Surprised about that. Eighteen Titans. Saints nineteenth. Then Rams. Then Jets. Colts, Browns, Buccaneers, from 20 on down, that's the worst. Just let you know. Bucks, Falcons, Bengals, Cardinals, Steelers, Patriots, Chargers. Dang, these are the worst. The, the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City, Chiefs are the worst. And underneath them is the Washington Man. Damn. And as y'all can see, NFC East, let's go to the NFC East. Commanders are 32, their last. The, uh, the Cowboys are 12th. The Giants are 8th. And the Philadelphia Eagles are who don't got a culture problem is fourth. The point I'm trying to make to the best fans in America, the players told you how they feel about the Philadelphia Eagles. 
They told you. They literally told you how they felt about the Philadelphia Eagles. They feel like the locker room, good. The culture, good. The traveling needs some tweaking. The locker room needs some tweaking. But when it comes to Howie T, Nick Sirianni, and Jeffrey Lurie, Akuna Matata, it means no worries. They can trust Nick Sirianni. They can trust Howie or oh, Howie T. They can trust Jeffrey Lurie to handle business and not meddle. Otherwise, they would have been a whole lot lower. Nick Sirianni would not have an A. Jeffrey Lurie would not have a 99.4 out of 10. You got a good culture, Eagles Nation. Be thankful. Be thankful. My God.